Ah. It's all fun and games until the devil comes knocking at your front door. Hey, yo, my man, what the fuck was that? That bitch is bugged out. How about you try working with her? Nah, I'll pass, but you got some explaining to do. She's under the impression that that fat boy killed Cholo. <laughs> or gave the order. And I'm guessing she just woke up one day like, that fat nigga killed my brother. I've known you for a long time. And you've always been known to me as a stand-up brother. So I'm going to be the first to tell you that chicken ain't have nothing to do with nothing. You've always been a stand-up man to me, especially with your work. Well, her? She wouldn't give a fuck if it was her mind today. Once her mind is set, it's set. Sounds like a personal thing to me. I couldn't give two fucks about her mother or her dead brother. She needs to stay away from us and crawl under a rock somewhere. Look, fair. Ain't got no beef with you. And neither does chicken. But that bitch, she played herself and she gotta go. Not tomorrow, not next month, but now. Right now. She's definitely gonna try again and I ain't waiting. So either she leaves the country or her and her brother are gonna have matching caskets. I'll have a conversation with her. And I'll let her know that her actions will have serious repercussions. And if she tells you to kiss her ass? Then I'll handle it my damn self. I told her she's fucking with my money too. Not just hers. So if she doesn't take my advice, then I'll do what must be done. You sure you want to do it yourself? And why you? <laughs> me, Gaddy. And only fucking me. And why? Because I'm protecting my interests. I'm here. Yeah, I'll call you ASAP. Stay in your place, Gaddy. Frank, Frank, cut. It came down like that.